History Channels alone, which is currently running its fifth season, is an undisputed hit, and it's pretty clear what made it the most ambitious survival reality show currently on air. The show's premise is interesting enough as it documents the daily struggles of 10 individuals surviving in the wilderness using a limited amount of equipment until the isolation drives them mad, and the last man standing takes home the cash prize of $500,000. As is the case with any survival show on TV, the genuinity of Alone has been constantly questioned and debated. So what parts of Alone are real and fake? Let's have a look. But before getting in, feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of more of our videos. Gear Dilemma Under the show's rules and gear list, each participant can choose to bring 10 items along with them from the list provided by the producers. But many items that weren't on the list were seen brought by participants on the show. Items such as satellite phones, emergency flares, and GPS tracking devices were not included in the list, which questions the true survivability aspect of the show. Not so distant location. During the first season, history showed its viewers the map of the location where the participants would be dropped off. Upon studying the map closely, it was found that the location was awfully close to civilization, some even being an hour's walk from the nearest town. A Google map search also revealed trail networks of the featured locations, so the contestants weren't technically isolated for real. Food Situation One aspect of the show that seems very real is in portraying how difficult it is to procure food in the wilderness. Despite carrying hunting and trapping items, the participants on the show have a hard time finding the necessary amount of food. The winner of the first season, Alan Kay, can be taken as evidence. He lost an astonishing 60 pounds over 56 days in Vancouver Island. Jose Martinez Jose Martinez was the favorite to win the show's second season, but tapped out after surviving 59 days in the wilderness. The dramatic fashion in which he went out raised suspicious eyes and had the viewers doubting whether the scene was staged. He was shown falling off his canoe and walking back to shore, only to be seen standing in the cold water four feet away from shore when the emergency crew arrived. How real do you think the show is? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more great content.